So guys, we are in the kitchen right now. We're gonna be cooking up the conger that we caught yesterday or, yeah, you'll see the video. The, the conger meat is, uh, is really good chowder meat, but today we're gonna be putting it in the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Kerrygold butter, well any church of your butter but Kerrygold is the best for this, um, some parsley, some just normal salt, pepper, and we're gonna be squeezing the lemon out on this kebab, any soy sauce, yep, let's go, I'm gonna uh, take a the parsley, we're only gonna be taking the leaves, the stem isn't that tasty. Well, the, yeah, the stem you just can't eat. And if you guys just are, are just wondering on how to cook the conger, if you just want to try your own recipe, the conger is a very salty fish, I've heard. It's my first time trying it, but I've heard that it's a salty, a salty fish, so yeah. I think that's enough parsley we have for right now, just a taste test. The conger. Okay, let's take our knife right here. Just some stem. Guys, there isn't gonna be any stops in this, so you can just see me cooking it and how long it'll take me. And make sure you have your stuff prepared before, because yeah, just better to have it prepared before you start cooking. Let's just put the parsley to the side. Okay, you're gonna need half a lemon. I just have a full lemon. Put that parsley to the side. Take the lemon. <coughs> Cut it in half. Okay, let's see, is, uh, put this away. Doesn't look like, like there's any seeds. Oh. Grab this. And do I have this machine thing here? Just gonna twist it on it. Get all of the lemon juice out. Uh, you can take the lemon and roll it before you um, squeeze it. But I already did that before the video, just to have it prepared. Which lemon juice do we have there? I would say that's enough for the, for conger, um, well, bells, yeah, yeah, pieces, conger. We have this, I'm gonna take the conger, Put it on here. I'm just gonna wash the conger off just in case. It's already been washed, skinned, and everything. Put that away. Okay. I'm gonna let it drip out. Close the wash. I'm gonna let it drip out, put it on some paper. Okay, place it there. Then you're gonna, wait, yeah. Then you're gonna dry the conger. Oh. Place the conger. We have just a, a normal, um, tray it's just, just some bacon parchment on it and guys make sure when you're drying it no piece of paper gets on there okay 
Push that. Place it there. Good. I'm gonna grab your Kerrygold water. Um, I'm gonna just move this out of way. Grab this. I just have a butter knife. I'm gonna place some some butter on there. One more piece of butter. Place it on the conger. Okay. Uh, put some more on here. Okay. Place this aside. Grab your salt and pepper. Have it just just a little pepper here. I think I'm gonna take my gloves out because I don't want the the pepper to stick to the moisture of the kong conger i'll just place them there let's take a little pepper open the lid just to put the excess in place that aside Close it, wash my hands off a little. But yeah, oh, oh. Go, take the tea towel, grab some salt, spoon, just a little salt. You don't need that much. Like I said, the conger is a pretty salty fish. Place that aside. Now you're gonna grab the Lemon, just an ordinary teaspoon, put two teaspoons per conger. Parsley, put a, just a few of that. Put a that, a little more on this, a little more on that. Take your soy sauce, just a little soy sauce. Just a dash. Okay, right. I'm gonna. See, that looks very nice. Open the oven here. Take the things. We're gonna place the conger in there for 20 minutes. Movement. Close it. And then with the conger, it's really good with chips and everything. There's these chips that uh, I know how to make. They're just, we're just gonna post how to make them pretty soon in a few videos. Yeah, I will catch you when it's cooked. So guys, we're gonna be taking the conger out right now. It's been, it's been, well, yeah, I don't know how long it's been. We're just taking it out now. I've decided to take it out. Oh, just be careful because it's hot. Take your time. Take your time. Because place it onto there. Close the oven. Turn off the oven. Okay, put these there. This is the conger. Take the piece. I just put a few salads. I just cut cut a few le lettuce leaves. I'm gonna do conger two conger pieces per plate. 
and if you want to, you can take the sauce, the butter, and the soy, and all of that. Um, put this on the green. Ooh, I'm gonna have to take one of these just to tilt it. Just to pour it. That sauce is good. And when I said uh, you can eat it with everything, just whatever is your choice. It really goes with fries and yeah, whatever is with your choice. Put that there. I'm gonna grab these two. Put them up here. There's gonna be a few pictures up in a second of the two forks. Catch you guys when I'm gonna tasting it. So guys, we're going to be ta uh, taste testing the conger. I've in invited my mom here to try the conger with me. Ooh. Okay, let's take, a, let's take a little bit. Yeah, it's really good chowder fish, it looks like. Let's grab a piece. Three, two, one. Mm. Just had a bone there. Mm, that's a pretty surprisingly good fish. Taste the salad. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like, uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time in the kitchen or at the water.